Welcome to Redbird Mathematics. Before you get started in this course, let's take a look at how it's organized. Each grade of Redbird Mathematics has several units that build the mathematical understandings most important for success in Algebra 1. Each unit begins with a video that introduces the theme and mathematics for the unit. The STEM themes for each unit explore science, technology, engineering, or math topics. Then, you complete a few problems to show if you already know the unit material. The lessons have instruction to help you learn and practice items to apply what you've learned. If you ace the problems and show what you know, you'll skip the instruction for the first lesson and go directly to the practice items. Each unit ends with a multi-part challenge on the unit theme. This challenge will use the key math concepts covered throughout the unit. Some units also have digital projects that relate back to the unit theme. Now that you have a better idea of how the course is organized, check out the other videos for a quick tour through different parts of the program and some tips for success. When you first launch the course, you will see the unit intro screen for your first unit. This is the intro screen for the first unit of grade 4, Foundations in Base 10. The unit intro screen details the lessons, games, and projects contained within the unit. At any time to view where you are in the program, clicking here in the upper left corner will take you to the unit pathway screen. Here, you can see your current unit and the units that lie ahead. Also available from the unit pathway screen are multi-level games. These games unlock as you move through the curriculum and can then be played at any time. Since nothing is unlocked, let's return to the unit and learn even more about the course. Each time you reach a new unit, the first thing to do is to view the unit introduction video. This video establishes the theme for the unit. At the end of the video, you can see a description of the key math content that you'll learn in the unit. After viewing this video introduction, it's time to get started by showing what you already know about the mathematics in the unit. These items are based on the unit theme. You'll want to do your best here. If you answer these items correctly, you'll skip instruction and go straight to solving problems. If you don't know the answers, that's okay. You'll learn all about the math when you get to the lessons. Once you've completed the Show What You Know for a unit, click Start to move into the first lesson. Let's take a look at the instructional part of a lesson. Each instruction begins with an overview of the content you're about to learn. As you work through the instruction, you'll experience short videos, animations, digital manipulatives, guided practice, and direct instruction to help you learn and understand the material. When you're working in instruction, the bar at the top of the screen looks like this. You can go back to prior screens of the instruction by clicking through the dots. At any time, you can go back to the unit intro screen by clicking the unit picture. When you're ready to pick up again, just click the blue button to return to where you left off. It's okay to make mistakes during instruction. Try to figure out why your answer was wrong so you can learn from your mistakes. Take your time and make sure you understand the material. Each instruction concludes with a summary screen that details the key points you've learned. You might want to take screenshots of these and other screens to reference later. Once you click the arrow to continue here, you'll start practicing what you've learned. After you finish the instruction for a lesson, you move straight into the lesson's item sets to practice what you've learned and show whether you understand the math from the lesson. When you're working in an item set, the bar at the top of the screen looks like this. If you come to an item and you know what to do, simply answer the question and move forward. But if you're not sure what to do, you can use several built-in instructional supports. First, check the on-demand help. This pop-up explains the main idea from the lesson that can help you with this item. If that's not enough, you can always review the instruction again by clicking the control in the top corner of the screen. Sometimes there will be two controls here, and you can view another version of the instruction that covers the same ideas in a different way. Revisit the instruction at your own pace and return back to the item by clicking the X. When you're ready to try solving the problem, complete the page to activate the check button. If your first try is incorrect, you get a hint. This hint helps you understand how to move forward, correcting common errors and misconceptions. If your second try is incorrect, your incorrect answer turns to red, and the correct answer is shown in yellow. Detailed feedback is also shown that explains how to get the correct answer. Then you'll receive more items that are similar to that item, so you can practice until you become proficient. As you move through the item sets, the bar at the top of the screen displays your progress. When you are reviewing earlier material, your progress bar will look like this. When you are accelerating through the program, it will look like this. Keep solving items to work through the lessons in each unit, and sometimes you'll get to work on games and projects. More about those in another video.
as you move through the lessons in each unit, sometimes you'll unlock games that reinforce math concepts and provide additional skills practice. Each game embedded within a lesson begins with a quick orientation on how to play, and gameplay typically lasts three to five minutes. Once you've been working in the course, remember to check the Unit Pathway screen to play any multi-level games that you may have unlocked. At the end of some units, you can explore digital projects that again return to the theme of the unit. Each project begins with two videos. One is an introduction to the topic to set the stage, and the other is an interview with a professional in a related career. After reviewing the introductory information, you'll complete a set of math tasks to explore the problem, while using various information sources found in the sidebar. Then, you'll use an interactive digital tool to create and complete your solutions. There are many examples of coding, design, and simulation tools throughout the program. Have fun with them! From the Unit Intro screen, you can find a detailed history of your work in the course by clicking View My Progress. Here, click Show All Sessions to view the unique pathway you've taken through the curriculum, including when you received instruction, additional instruction, review lessons, or item sets. For each lesson, you can see whether you answered items correctly or incorrectly. Clicking any item set or instruction will launch a video replay of your activity in that component, including when you typed or edited your answers or used the on-screen controls. These replays also show whether you answered correctly on your first or second attempt. Use your progress and replays to identify any areas you may be struggling and work to correct your understanding. So what are some ways to get the most out of your experience with Redbird Mathematics? Here are a few tips for success. Most importantly, Use the program resources, including the instruction, helps, hints, and feedback that are built into each item, and play the games occasionally to reinforce what you've learned. Also, set goals and work diligently towards those goals, and use a math notebook to take notes and solve problems. Stay as focused as possible, and use earphones to minimize distractions. Finally, take your time as you work through the program. The more diligent you are, the better you'll learn, and the quicker you'll move through the curriculum. For more information, view the Redbird Mathematics Product Guide. This document provides a high-level overview of the program, including the content covered at each grade level, an explanation of the Adaptive Motion Engine, and more. Now it's your turn to take flight with Redbird Mathematics. Start exploring, and be sure to have some fun. When you launch Redbird Mathematics, the first thing you'll complete is the course placement activity. This series of items identifies what you already know and determines where you will start in the program. You'll want to do your best on these items, or you'll need to do more work in the program before you get to your learning zone. Take your time and try to get each item correct on your first or second try. Be sure to work through each problem on your own, using paper and pencil if needed. You can also use the learning supports, including helps and hints, to guide your thinking. After you finish the course placement activity, just click the button to get started with your first unit.